welcome back to my channel. And today, of course, we're gonna be making some slime. It's Lolo's lovely channel. So the thing we're needing is a borax solution and some glue. And I'm gonna make fluffy slime, so I'm gonna have to need some shaving cream and some beads for also some crunchy slime. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you'll also be needing is this bowl and a spoon. Okay. I poured a lot in there. I don't know what color to choose. So this is the colors I have. I have this like purple, this orange, and the turquoise, which I'm not gonna be using. So I have to pick between these. And I also have a pink. I think I'm gonna be doing the orange. No, let's just do the purple. I'm going to be, actually, should I just do white slime? No, it's too boring. So I'm going to be adding in my two drops of purple. Next, I'm going to be mixing it up. My mom's favorite color is this purple. And this is kind of also how you make color changing slime. I'm going to add a bit of pink so I can get I'm making a violet. Tinkerbell! Shh, don't make the other dog is bark, okay? I'm gonna actually try to experiment here and add some turquoise to it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, yay! It's making the kind of like color I wanted. So I have like that color. So now, if you guys didn't guess it, I'm gonna be adding a little bit in. And then I'm going to be adding my beads in. <laughs> hey guys, my dad's going to love this. He loves crunchy slimes. So I'm adding more. His favorite slime is crunchy slime and like fluffy slime. Oh my gosh, yes! This is the exact slime I wanted. So now we're adding my spray bottle borax activator. Actually, my last slime took a long time to make because I've been using so much activator. So I just like put a lot of activator in it, like dumped it, and now I'm working with it. So this is what it looks like. I remember, I love slime, I used to make it every day. So, I remember, I love slime, I used to make it every day, and I still do. It's not really turning into that consistency I want, so I'm gonna add a lot more. Okay, so, so this is honestly getting there. It's just like really sticky. My dad is honestly gonna love this slime, and I want it to be a lot more fluffier, so I'm gonna add in some. Here it is. I'm so excited to smush the slime. Of course there's black beads in here. I do like bright stuff. Like brown beads. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. I can honestly feel the beads and they're just like the best in the world. Ah, oh, that's so nice. This is the best slime I've ever made because it's so satisfying and it has all these beads in it. I'm gonna actually add in a bit more just because I love it, the texture so much. Yes, I love it. I call it the Lego slime because these beads look like Legos. Here it is, the finishing product. Honestly, if you guys felt this, it's like the best. So I think this is probably my best slime yet. It's really crunchy. Now let's give it the poke test. It doesn't really pass the poke test because you can't really hear. But I'm gonna put this aside. And then, so like for my other like slimes, these are just like all regular slimes, so. Like, you can hear it poke. 
this one is like filled to the top. My glitter slime. You hear that? That's like good. Like now you can hear it. This is my also regular slime I made. Here goes Tinkerbell. These are my slimes I made through the day today. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slimes. About the maximum my dad gave me, I think. This is honestly like so satisfying. So perfect. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, please turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. And if you don't know me, my name's Lolo, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! It's Lolo's lovely channel.